And Patelino is going in. Good luck. And he's bringing, oh, yep, the Lalo indeed, Susie. It is the Lalo. Yeah, exactly. So Patolino kicking off here with the Lalo against Exorcist. I was checking his uh, spells if we have any Skelly Donut, but no, we're going here uh, with the Zap uh, Lalo. And we are uh, seeing lately like a lot of uh, all these bases. Minimum, we can see one raid spell tower because we see yeah. the power, how strong these Infernos can be, Carbon. Absolutely, as this queen's gonna push into the defending king here. T Headhunter helps quite a bit, sends that next one, but the tassels are popping. More headhunters to help take this defending king down, and no healers for this queen. As this his queen got locked down, but the lightning took out this expo and multi-target inferno compartment there. Yeah, looks like he will be trying to go for that second multi with the, uh, and also grabbing the eagle with the heroes, like here using the ice golem. That ice golem actually need to start tanking the oh. ice golem because so far is locked on the king. Ooh, freezing uh, nicely the eagle and also the expo royal champion stepping in. We're pulling the uh, CC just to light the dice. He has to fight the enemy royal champion there. Yeah, that Royal Champion, so he uses that freeze. Headhunter to try to sneak in and help secure, and down she goes. But can she take out the Scattershot before? No! The Scattershot is going to stay up here as the Queen's ability is just forced. The problem is, the Multi is still up. The Scattershot is still up here, so he decides to send the Stone Slammer in and a few balloons to try to sneak in and grab that Scatter. Yeah, didn't really get the value of the heroes he was looking for. Like that queen uh, triggered the tornado trap and after she went to the left side. So if the queen yeah. was following the king, we would get a multi infernal. But now we are sacrificing the slammer. On the other side, the oh. Yeti is gonna take care of the uh, raid spell tower and probably Yeti is also gonna clear the single infernal. Lalo is in oh. and we are using our last free spell, raging this uh, balloons. Let's hope it's gonna be enough for the tower. Oh! Oh, they, they did go away from the tunnel, but they came back. But the Warden ability is not going to last long enough. So these balloons are going to start to get hit by that tunnel poison. And the defending queen is just barely alive with one tick of health. She's going to pick off these balloons. They go down to that poison. And it's going to be a defense for Exorcist here of Tribe Gaming to start it off. Pat Delino, very nice try. Unfortunately, not able to get it with the Zap, Lalo, and a couple Ice Hounds in the mix as well. Yeah, 82% is a decent person, but this is what yeah. I was saying, like, I really have feeling when these kind of teams are, are facing each other that we will be seeing uh, many, many uh, defenses and it's yeah. happening. Like, I think so the plan was decent, it's just like the heroes, seriously didn't, yeah. like the Royal Champion didn't grab the scatter shot, Queen went yeah. wrong way, so didn't finish the multi inferno. Luckily that loons, I was watching over the town hall, that was like <laughs> so small split, only like one or two loons went for the town hall and after big and then they came back. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, little bit like, and uh, it is safe to start. How I say, you know. <laughs> yeah, they got the two star, but from my predictions, only one more of those attacks can fail. I said thirteens, so which means you got to get at least three triples. So that's one now. So who knows? Could be the low scoring war. We have no idea because these defenses are going to be good. But Rikirez is next up. Good luck to you with Alalo as well. But he's got a clone and a couple invis spells with him. Yeah, interesting what he will be uh, planning to do. Is he going to be cloning uh, yet? Or is it going to be like... I don't know, because there oh. is like multi-infernos, right? The raid spell yeah. tower. So I guess he will be cloning there. Uh, oh, double giant bomb. Okay, what is cloning? Is that Yetis? Oh, Super Archers. Oh, There's the clone. Oh! I think he cloned one goblin, but he's trying to... Okay, so there's the Super Archers, which are going to take out both Infernos, both Expos, try to snipe the Mile from... Oh, no, went down. Wow! Through the Town Hall! Wow, look at the value that he took down from that Super Archer blimp. That was, like, not too far, so he still has the Warden to send in with his Lalo. This is so amazing because it also didn't invest all these spells, right? When we are usually seeing yeah. Super Archer Blim, you are almost going with all spell there. But that value, two Infernos, eight spell tower, Monolith, and the Town Hall. He still have heroes, so they still can yep. probably get the enemy queen, push for the scatter shot. Like, very strong start from him. 
very strong as the clan castle is in the core of this base that is next to the multi-target inferno so this push is going to continue its way in that wall break is trying to move its way oh it, oh, it just dies it. off but he does lure out the lava hound so he sends a second wall break to try to open up the core Oh, he can now reach the multi. I, yeah, the second yep. man in. Queen is now log on the lava. We have Titan. No, the Titan died. The Titan will be amazing for the lava puffs. It will be speed up oh. everything here. And Luz coming in against this oh rage Teslas and the rage yeah. multi. Royal champion already going here. Give the shell. Sniping some of the Teslas. Queen, come on, go for the multi infernal. Oh, it is boy. too loose over the scatter shot. That's oh looking good. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's so many red air bobs that are popping up, but the balloons are still good. He pushed Alalo into the defending multi under rage, but he had that warden, and Rikira is, is crushing this one. What a brilliant attack, that super archer blimp getting so much value, sniping through the tunnel and taking out the monolith was just a perfect execution there, and breaking the base down, Rikira's beautiful hit. Oh, wow, this one was such wow. a good attack. Like, yeah. I was confused at the start when we were all like, oh, what wow. is a planning to do, you know? <laughs> yeah. I saw this infamous race spell tower town hall. I didn't even think that he can grab the moon on it. <laughs> that was just so right? good. And he still That's had crazy. more than spells. Like, all the amazing hits from him. Very, very nice yeah. job. Okay. Very nice. Well, now they're going to have to answer. The 82% means that they're going to have to triple and hope that Tribe gets less than an 82 on their next attack to have the lead. And this is just a show match, right? So it's not like anything's on the line. It's not like you're eliminated from the competition. You can't play in the Suzy Cup if you lose. No, this is just two teams going at it to hype up the Suzy Cup to get us ready for it as it's coming very soon. Wait, in a few days, right? The yeah, beginning of May. Days, exactly. First wow. of May. <laughs> yeah, it's there almost, you go. Almost there, you know. <laughs> almost here. Almost here. Yeah, well, Absolutely. I cannot wait. But oh, I, my prediction was 13 stars for clutch jumps. Okay. I, yeah. I need right now to see three triples <laughs> from them. I want to be in the prediction, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's my goal. I'm sorry. That's I'm your goal. sorry. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going for it. You okay. Know? Okay. Uh, well, my time, prediction you know, was fun time. 13 13. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll see. It's Clash Champs. If they don't triple here, then they'll have to triple out for my prediction to be perfect, and that's going to be difficult. But here we go. Leo is up for Clash Champs, and they are looking to three star to tie up the triple count. But we've got the Hog Riders here, Susie. Yeah, 27 hoggies. Like, I love hogs attack, but it's freaking me out when we are going with the hogs on Town Hall 15, especially when I see where is the race spell tower is. So yep. I just hope we're gonna see the triple and no bacon here. So <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's see. So Flame Flinger at 6 well, o'clock. Yeah. What if I'm hungry? I might want some bacon, you know? It, it, <laughs> Leo's like, you know, it's like, here you go. This is the perfect opportunity. But yeah, like you said, that rage spell covering every multi, two expos, and the eagle artillery. That is wild, Susie. Yeah, and I think that's the plan. Like, he will be sending the hawks through to that compartment, you know? Like, he is using the queen, uh, trying to take down the oh. town hall. Flame Flinger will be patting towards that scatter shot on the right side here. It's some of the skelly slowing down the queen. Headhunt they pull only few archers, no, so that means still a lot of CC in the enemy clan castle. Trying to pull a little bit more. He can't. Oh, he pulls the poison spell a little bit early here. Rages that queen up. She's going to step in towards this town hall, but still not luring out this defensive clan castle just yet, as a flame flinger is going to be trying to move in its way towards the scatter shot. And the queen secures the town hall, but no recall or anything. So this queen has got to continue this charge towards that monolith. Yeah, and I'm kind of... Oh my god, that queen health is so low. He still didn't use the queen Jeez. ability. But now, invisibility spell, letting the healers catch up and heal the queen. Flame Flinger is oh still my. a little bit away from the scatter shot. And yeah, three eyes go and we will be fighting them in front of the monolith. We have the king there. Look at the wall breaker. Yep. We can now push for the oh, uh, wow. scatter on the left side. Yeah, that could be some real nice value as a Yeti, Rocket Loon, and Balloons go for the other scatter shot with the Royal Champion over there. 
and that queen's continuing her charge as the king is absorbing the shots but the hogs they're coming in he's not waiting the hogs going into the top side get ready for the warden turtle tome these hogs will disappear so fast if you don't protect them but that defensive rage is gonna be cooking up some bacon here Susie. he doesn't have oh, a no. heal spell he's hitting every spring trap he can and the hogs oh. are just clearing everything around He's not even sending the Hawks for this multi infernos. He just kind of won defense oh around the base and letting the RC with the Queen clear the infernos. Actually, it could work. Only the time the could RC? be issue. The healers, the Switch. healers transferred to the royal champion. Wait, what? Leo? Oh, the he's got to freeze the enemy queen. RC. He's got to yeah. freeze it. Oh, oh, he's got queen ability. He takes out the enemy RC, Sensico. but he's only got 10 seconds. Time. Rip, not gonna have enough time. It's gonna be a time fail. Oh, look at that, Matt. Oh, imagine the RC throwing right there, almost taking it out of that platform. If that was the time fail building, that would have been crazy, but 94% two star. And now that's back to back two stars here, Susie, for class champs. Yeah, that was such an interesting plan. Like, did you see like from yeah. where he sent the hogs? You know, like they kind of stay yeah. outside. Uh, of the yeah. base just uh, picking up all these defenses around and royal yeah. champion like she was seriously hero there you know <sighs> she's sniping this infant yeah oh i really wish that one was three star that was a really good plan but tribe now Crazy. looking good like with the two defenses yep. and already with the first triple one triple from tribe two two stars which means tribe's defenses are holding strong right now against class champs and who's, if I had to take a guess, oh, never mind. I was going to guess who's going to be the next attacker, but it is going to be Nebrex. I wish that we had Nebrex's camera right here because I, we, he would be celebrating <laughs> the reactions of many of these tribe players are just on another level. Wait a second. There's a hole in the base. Oh, no there's way. A on loop zero space on both sides. All right. Who built the space? Come on. <laughs> go, go to Discord. Start DM. And he's going to do it. Look at this. Super Wizards. <laughs> right here no just, way it's gonna be a blizzard onto the town hall without a blip but oh. the super wizard died yeah oh. i was thinking they can <laughs> grab that one in front of the other he, the, oh but still like he Ooh. didn't have to use the blip like he still has siege no. machine oh what the yeah. good eyes right to see <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, man. But we have again well, another Hogs attack, like 22 yeah. Hoggies, uh, two E-Dragons. Yeah. All right, what is the plan with the E-Dragons? Sniping our air defense with the rocket balloons at 12 o'clock. Yeah. So far, the Queen is just dealing with the Lava Puffs. Do you think that we're going to try like with the Eagle to take down the... Yeah. Maybe with this E-Dragons go for the Eagle? Is that the plan? I think so. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it will send the E-Dragons into the Eagle because there's ground expos over there so they can move in, but... Does rage up the E drag. Oh, gets some nice chains, but the Eagle Artillery locks onto one of them as the King and Queen are going to continue their push towards the top side. But thing is, he wanted those Super Wizards to grab probably both those Expos and that multi target Inferno. Oh, he was trying to snipe oh. the Eagle with the Moon. Oh. Didn't work, and now Hoggies are in. Uh, they're going against the uh, uh, Rage oh uh, Expos and one in front yeah. is using the heal spot, still holding on the board and using the board. And now that King is sniping the Scottish or the amazing job from the King. We have like three mm. hand hunters on the way for the enemy RC and another yeah. heal spell protecting these Hawks. Like he still have big group that totally dodging the uh, spring trap. Yeah, that Flame Flinger is still moving through. It will be opening up, but he did take out the multi target Inferno. Hogs, unfortunately, aren't going to be able to grab the Air Expo because of the defensive rage. We also have a defending king that is standing down there. Queen's ability's force, but he's got one spell left. Double giant bombs for these hogs, but he's able to keep some health there. This is going to be close. I still have a oh. big, big group of, the, group of the hogs. We still have RC with the shield. Arch is actually right now fighting that enemy king. I think so. Wait. He is good. He has yes. actually on that uh, drill. Oh, yeah, RC he... ability. Make the king invisible. Yes, that to turn smart. the RC around. That and we smart. got the we got the invisible warded, but it doesn't matter. It's a three star from Nebrex of Tribe Gaming. Wow.
Brilliant. That was smart oh, play my. there, especially he has only a few seconds yeah. left. So pushing the uh, troops go for the final building instead of fighting yep. the enemy king. Nice play, but uh, hello, why we have hole in the base? <laughs> <laughs> Clash chance, don't let me down. What's going on? <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on. My prediction of 13-13 is not looking exactly like that because Clash champs are going to have to triple out just to get the 13. And then Tribe would have to fail twice and triple, which is definitely, they de that definitely could happen. It's a lot more likely then to triple out, but I don't know. Live yeah. teams, they gotta turn this one around here. Uh, I am trying to stay positive here because now they have to go three for three with the rest of the yeah. attacks and we are bug with the hoggies. 41 hog scarver. Okay, Susie, uh, did you tell them that this is supposed to be a hogs only or something? Like, what's going on here? You gotta, uh, Susie, don't be lying now. Did you tell them it's a hog only war? What's happening? I, I promise oh. I didn't say anything, but everyone knows that I love hogs, you know? So maybe, oh. maybe. There but you go. Here we go. We have Skeriba Donna there. And we already cleared three buildings. A yep. uh, nice start from a uh, loop. And now we will go here with the heroes. He has a uh, battle drill on the bar. So previously we're gonna he be does. using the battle drill, we're gonna be change the siege machine. But I guess in the plan is to take down the town hall. We're already opening the mm -hmm. wall where we have the scout show there using the ice golem tanking for the queen. Yes, this queen's gonna move into the scout of the royal champion. The defensive rage will get activated pretty soon here, nice. but the king can he oh queen's ability Oh, the king, though, is taking some damage from the Grand Wood Altar. The bomb tower is not going to help either way. Because that ability, he's going to lose all the barbarians from it. And he might just not be able to take the town hall down. Let's see. He's going to come back alive. But is it going to be close? Oh, oh he gets he, it. Okay. He got it. He got it. He all got right. it. Being even triggering the tornado trap. So that's even uh, better. Yep. Hope he doesn't have to uh, deal with that. And yeah, I think so. If he got the value with the heroes which he was looking for, he yeah. still have RC. So I think so. Maybe it's gonna be combination RC and battle drill. No battle drill front of the enemy queen. Yeah. So that battle drill doesn't gonna give him much value. Well, he pops the warden ability. More hogs come out of the battle drill into the bomb tower. Really trying to path his way towards that eagle, the Maltese. That defensive rage on the backside is slowly coming back. But he's got, he's healing them up there, trying to keep them alive. But Giant Bombs, that test the farm is still waiting for him. Oh, that end of the, oh, base is so, so scary. Oh, no. Hogs are clearing the infernos, that's good. But so many Giant Bombs we are triggering. That one was actually, wasn't that bad. Hogs Ooh. are still looking healthy there. RC front of the monolith, she going down. We have 54 yeah. seconds left. Oh, wow. the hogs are so, so low health. Yeah, they slowly getting picked off here, trying to make his way into the mile of now. Hogs going down the winch, trying to help just a bit. The diggy is still there, but the warden now gets locked on by the mile of. He's going to go down. And it's going to be another two star for Clash Champs, which means the three, the 13 prediction is going to be wrong. They can't get 13 now with the three two stars here. Tribe Gaming's defenses have been strong in this match here. A nice try to loop Zera. 41 hogs. Hog Riders is so difficult at Town Hall 15. They are, they are just like, look at the base. Like, they hit every giant bomb. Like, they could yeah. find, you know? Like, yeah. oh, that boss. Everywhere. Oh, so, so nice try. I'm kind of a little bit confused with that yeah. battle drill. I think that battle drill just broke way too early there. So, mm -hmm. didn't really give him that much value. But still, 41 hogs yeah. plus hogs from the battle drill. That's a lot of hogs. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Long, yeah. And they didn't clear much. On the other side, we are tied on the stars. But Sharp has extra hit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's you don't want to see that when you are tied up. It's always good, right? Yeah. At least it's tied on stars. But then you're you've used one more attack than your opponent. That's the that's where it's not good. That's where it hurts there. But We'll see. Anything can happen. One stars are possible. And, you know, when we have Susie Strayman, then jinxing is a thing that always comes with it, right? Is that going to happen here? Uh -oh. I don't know what you Let's are see. talking about, but look at this. 31 hogs. I, I am I really swear, sure. I <laughs> swear you told them something, Susie. You definitely <laughs> told them. You told them something. Hogs are a requirement. I, I'm not going to believe... 
that you did say something. You had to have. There's no oh. way we have this many arc attacks. Oh my god, I believe me, you know. Uh. <laughs> but I am really enjoying this. Like, uh, you know, watching the hogs attack in the pro hands, it is fun to watch. Like, look at the chrono yep. start here. Like, using these uh, lighting spells, seriously taking care of the threat there, which was the raid spell tower, inferno, eagle, and even the X bow. And now we're already using the skelly spell, which is amazing to distract the defenses yep. and also the queen. Oh. And the super bulwark yes. is already giving access to go hero or letting the heroes go in and fighting towards the town hall. Yeah, and he's about to be luring out the full clan castle. There is his Electro Titan to help. There is a triple Ice Golem CC, and the Mile of does lock onto his king, which means he's gonna have to pop it early. The poison, was, was that, was that his, okay, that looked like it was his own poison and the Electro Titan there anyways. But this an extra ice golem is going to be a big problem as he wants to charge this queen all the way towards that town hall. Oh, look at this super ball breaker. He got it. So wow. now the queen can go in. We have one free spell left. Uh -oh. Can the queen actually get the no. town hall? That town hall no will go invisible. Like, we don't have um, free spell for that invisibility spell tower. And now the bad news is we have to go with the hoggies through the town hall. Yep. Yeah, that's the problem. He wanted that King Queen Electro trying to push into the town hall, but the problem is the triple ice golem slowed him up there as now the hogs are going to be sent towards the town hall with that warden and the RC. You got to pop that warden ability perfectly. If you're not perfect, they're going to die to that town hall explosion and. Oh, that's Okay, really... he does it early. But okay. can he still get Real that town champion hall down? Is there. She can help. Diggy 2. He gonna get hit. Him. Okay. Oh, that's. Oh, wow. All right. This is still oh. some hope survive. And I yeah. actually doesn't take in that much damage. Let me even. Oh, uh, that poison her. lizard. That poison lizard is ignoring the defensive RC for some reason. It does die. The raw champion has oh, her ability, it. finds a tornado, skeletons, pops the ability, skips across, but he's only got 27 seconds. Time is not on his side. If his queen and king were able to push deeper into the town hall to actually secure the town hall, this would have been a crushed attack. It would have been a three star, absolutely. Yeah, he, he just lost like one group of the hogs over yeah. the town hall. And the time fail. Yeah, it is. Like that real champion yeah. and diggy combination is uh, amazing. Wow. Uh, look at this, the diggy still keep going. And he yeah. is hitting the town fell, so very, very nice try from Kronos, and especially nice try. Happy. We have not a hogs attack. <laughs> yeah. Hogs, hogs, hogs. It's been so many hogs. Surprisingly, it's been a war of hog riders. And we've had one, one, two, three fails from Clash Champs, and one fail now from Tribe Gaming. So Clash Champs are going to have to hope that they triple their next two attacks and hope that Tribe fails all the remaining hits to be tied at a 12-12 performance. We'll have to see. Yeah, maybe we need like special rules now for the uh, Suzy Cup. <laughs> let's everyone, let's use only Hawks. <laughs> there you go. There yeah. you go. And then Synthy has to use something else because he's too oh, good with yeah, Hawks, exactly, right? Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. What would be good for him, you know? Something opposite than Hawks. No, mm. okay, you know what? Synthy can use Hawks, but he literally can only use Hawks. No cleanup, no nothing, just what? 75 hog or whatever the max amount of hogs is so like that that's what he could so do cool <laughs> <laughs> i would love to watch that i mean cynthia is playing in the creative mass series next so maybe he does that we'll, we'll have to see yeah maybe but all maybe. right but selenio he is in good luck and he's got a lalo attack it's not hogs okay it is not hog riders here Susie. Now this time we're going here with the Lalo, just a very simple lighting spell to take down the uh, sweeper yep. so that Blim will make it here. And looks like we will be uh, blizzarding. We are using uh, here Warden to protect the Blim because it's a long, long way. But look at the blizzard, so we can reach the Inferno and of mm -hmm. course we will be aiming for the uh, Town Hall here. Yeah. And we of course pull the CC as well. Yeah, and he keeps these goblins invisible, so they're damaging and taking the town hall down. So the super wizards can take it down relatively easily there. Now they lock onto the. Oh, look at that! They go from the clan <gasps> Second castle multi. to the other multi, and the enemy queen too. No way! Oh, 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 oh it doesn't. That go was so down. close. 
I didn't even notice what you said like about the goblins. That was cool. I just saw when you say. Yep. But look at yeah. the blizzard. Okay, like this is awesome. I know that we invest the warden, mm -hmm. but we still have yep. heroes. He has the ice golem, so that's also gonna uh, kind of help the uh, heroes push to throw the multi inferno and probably grab the eagle as well. Wow. Yeah, Very this. Good start. Queen, though, is getting locked down by this ground expo as he's pushing his way in. The Queen will then directly target, sends the Royal Champion so she could jump the wall easily, go to that Eagle Artillery. With that King ability going off, he still has the Lalo, but he's only got, well, I was going to say he's only got how many spells? Four freezes still, okay. So what are you going to freeze? Freezing for your heroes as you make your way around. It's looking good. Yeah, that enemy queen is almost gone, so that I see. Oh, come on, yeah. I see. Switch the target, go for the queen. There we go. <laughs> Sniping yeah. the air defense, that's even better. Now, just slowly starting uh, with the balloons from 12 o'clock. We have the lava tanking, the mono, and the enemy warden. We still have this race spell tower, but that race spell tower is already activated with the three free True. spell. He's looking good. Yeah, as these balloons are slowly going to make their way around with queen ability still intact. He's got the phrase to scatter and the defensive rage and slowly coming. You cannot let that come back. If that multi gets raged up, your balloons are going to be fried. Oh, he got uh -oh. split. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, so there's still some balloons went to the left uh -oh. side. This, oh, no, the queen not going to be fast enough. He has free spell. He's using the freeze over the scatter shot. Queen still has the ability here. Queen ability, but she's going to ignore the multi, though. She's going to walk out of the base, probably. The defensive rage oh. is coming back. Oh, it's coming ball. back. It's coming back. Oh, oh it goes away. Giant giant bomb again. This is so close. We're not, oh, she, she can go, go around. She can reach. Go she around. can reach it from the other side. Go around, Queen. Queen, go. Don't, Queen, don't, go. Don't, Run. Don't. Phoenix. Go, 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 Fly go. straight Someone. to the multi. <laughs> no, Queen, we're not going to be fast enough. No. No. <laughs> Oh my, Selino, 99% Tom fell. First of all, that queen was awesome that she went around. It's just suddenly we didn't have enough time. More, it's like, more like Selino. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. oh my. Oh, dang, all two stars for Clash Champs. It is not their day to day in this match. The 99% for Selino. Oh, rip. Yeah, but nice we have try. some town fells there, you know? Like, the plans yeah. are really good. Yeah, other you know? Just small, small things. <laughs> like, yeah. I was impressed with that Blizzard. Like, oh, these Super yeah. Blizzard were awesome, though. The way they were, you know? They, uh, like, even, like, pushing for the second multi Inferno and even yeah. got the hit on the enemy Queen. That was OP. Oh, here we go. Exorcist, what's the plan? And it's the Lalo. We've got five rocket loons, uh, a couple headhunters. He's got a flame flinger. Find some tassels right off the bat. He drops the wizard with that yeti to help clear some of those buildings because he looks like he wants to push this queen towards the enemy queen and or even just the multi-target inferno in there. Mm -hmm. He has like two super wall breakers. Because yep. which way the queen will go? She should go for the enemy queen. Oh, uh, Grand Expo Vrolog on sure. her. Uh, Might we not. Have no, flame. she's gonna go bomb tower. <laughs> oh, oh yes. she does! Bomb tower. Okay. And then storage. Oh, uh, does it, oh, is she going... Multi. Oh, okay, she's going in. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh my, did you see how many single bombs <laughs> with a ball I can just pull? <laughs> Hello? Oh, wow. Okay. Was that trying to stop, like, sneaky goblins for, like, pathing or, like, because they take those buildings down? I don't know. Well, it huh. was interesting to see. He has one more super wall break, and maybe he will open the wall where the second multi inferno and just kind of letting her walk Ooh. around. Ooh. Pulling the, the CC. CC. Oh, come on. Taking that eagle down. Raging the queen to keep her. Come on, poison is down, yes. And dealing with the hound. Okay, queen's going to be safe. Going to take care of this lava hound and pups. The eagle, but time. Look at the clock. We have about a minute 40. He's got to start moving. Uh oh. I'm just thinking, like, uh, who will now take to the enemy queen? What is the plan? Because yep. he has flame finger on the bar still. So, probably gonna be switching Ooh. to the uh, different siege machine. But yeah, he opened the wall for the second multi inferno. So, okay, we are hitting some of the air traps. But oh, the wow. healers are still looking uh, safe. Keep uh, sending the cocoon, checking for these air traps. 
the time. There's like no time left this attack. Just over a minute. You got to Yeah, he's changing it up to a stow slammer. He's got to move. He hasn't even used the king yet. Exorcist. You're not supposed to be swagging all your troops. You got to move through. He freezes up the defensive rage spell tower and the multi as he moves in. Freeze it yet again. The tunnel crazy that it hasn't even activated yet because it only activates when it gets damaged or hits 51%. Yes. Now we are even triggering the Tornado Trap. Loon's going now for the Town Hall. King is finally in. He will shoot, go for the enemy queen, but we have 38 seconds left. We still have to oh clear my. like four defenses of the base. He's using the Skelly spell so far. The Monolith is not hitting the Skelly, going for his Loon's. The queen is still far away from the enemy royal champion. Do we have any headhunters? They are fighting the king. That's the issue. I still will be hitting yeah. his loons. I mean, time is going to be obviously be the biggest question mark. Pops that queen ability. The royal champion is moving through. 14 seconds. He needs some cleanup to the right. The air scalies are being a huge issue. He's got the royal champion. Look at the cleanup. He's trying to get every building down one at a time. RC burns the building. He skips through. Taking out these storages. And it's going to fall a short time. 96%. Well, if he only had a little bit more. But he waited just or, a bit. You know, <laughs> there was so yeah. many storages. Oh, that oh. was that nice was so awesome. Uh, try like. Yep. He was so patient before. Did you see how late he deployed the royal champion? Like she was like, <laughs> last few seconds. Crazy. Let's go, RC, You know. Yeah. <laughs> that it was, was wild. Awesome. Yeah. Like how long he this. waited. What? He Castro. Is he gonna take the risk? Is gonna be the question. With the Queen Charge Lalo, I mean, at this point, they know that they got a triple and hope for a one star, but that's pretty unlikely when the team knows that all they got to get is a two star to be victorious. But let's see what Picasso could do with this Queen Charge here. I think that they already used that all bad luck, and now mm. is the time. You know, yeah. just let's yeah. finish uh, this match with the beautiful three star. And yeah, it is not a Lalo attack here, so Queen already took down the enemy Queen pretty quickly there. And yep. she's going to the the clock. So we have the raid spell tower. You can see there is uh, yeah. Eagle, two multi infernos, he has like three super wallbreakers, so that's make me think that he will be queen charging. Okay. Way. He wall breaks into the scatter shot right now. He does have a log launcher to continue his way through. There's the king. If he wants to log launch or with the king, then the, he could potentially reach that multi in the middle. But that multi here on the outside will hit his log launcher. You have to be very careful as he poisons. Oh, he the has to freeze. And queen ability. Oh, no. Okay, so we have no queen ability anymore. Super wall breaker. Right. Come on. Look, Lancha can actually clear this. Queen is now on yep. the mono. Oh my god, so we have to seriously keep eyes on her. Without ability, this is so so dangerous. Like the mono is doing so much Jeez. damage. That look, Lancha probably can grab the eagle. That's what? gonna still push the queen. She can reach the mono from that side. Oh, we did, suddenly couldn't freeze the expo, but she's handling that. The healers are keeping her alive. Look at the queen charge, Carbon. How is he charging this keep of the queen alive through all this as he still has the Lalo to go in? And the warden's still up. The world champion's moving around. The queen finally died, but she definitely got her value as here comes the balloon straight into this multi-target inferno trying to overwhelm and distract it to move in and take these defenses down because the defensive king is still there and he's got it he has Smash got it. this he wow like what an attack it. like that lalo is just seriously at the end you know just kind of clean up lalo like royal champion was still alive even the yetis from the long yeah. lunch they were still like chilling with the RC there, like that was, <laughs> that was wow. a really great hit and I'm uh, very happy, yeah. you know, even that clash jumps, finishing this match with the 11 star, this, this attack was awesome. Yep. It was a great attack there, 3 star for Pika Astro, but the other attacks unfortunately fell short, they did get a 99% on Rikiraz's base there, which definitely hurt, but now the last attacker is gonna be Yo-Yo. And all he's got to get is the two star and they'll be victorious. And, it, and if he gets a three, it'll be 13 to 11. Two is 12 to 11. So yeah, you are much closer. Do? 
with the British or the yeah. movie. <laughs> well, I mean, you said what, 12 12, right? No, I said 13 to 12. Oh, 13 oh, 12. Fine, well, I, right? you, well, I said 13 13, so you would be closer technically if he triples. So you would have won the prediction, I would say, in that in that case. Yeah, but I was like saying that Clash Jam will win, but this looks like oh, okay, okay. victory for our uh, try gaming. And True. yeah, what do you think? Yo yo with the Lalo, or is he gonna surprise us with the hoax as well? I think Lalo. I don't know. Have have I actually ever seen Yo-Yo do? I know he can do it. Obviously, he can do any attack in the game. But I don't know if I've ever seen him do Hog Riders. Have you? Do you remember? No. I don't. Yeah, I, have, I don't. Not to my knowledge here. But let's see. Times to find out as Yo-Yo's in, and he is coming in with Super Archers and Electro Titans. Okay, I was not gonna guess that, but I'm now <laughs> curious. You picked my interest, Yo-Yo. <laughs> This is a very strong uh, strategy. I like this version of uh, the Electro Titans. I'm bringing a bunch of uh, super archers. And mm -hmm. later, like, the teams can smash it. But what is very important is the setup a uh, really nice uh, panel. Because you will yeah. go from a uh, bit then from the, like, the, uh, in the middle compartment. Because super archers, we know, they can reach the uh, buildings. They have very, very far, uh, long range there. So that's why I'm a yep. fan of this strategy. And also, it's making me happy to see the super archers in the action again, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we see a lot of super archers in the blimps, right? Mm -hmm. The super archer blimps getting a lot of value, but not in the main army. It's usually the blimps that is where you get the value, and then you move in with a different type of attack. But the brilliant thing here is he's going to come from the opposite side of the town hall, and he's going to clear a lot of these heavy defenses with a defensive rage right away. So you take that down as you move your way through. But look, he's got double jumps. I think double jumps is a lot of an investment. But look at this, the super... <laughs> The super wall breaker actually took the jump to open up the eagle. Oh my. I can't wow. get I used to it to seeing the wall breaker taking that jump is always so funny. But look at this, like yeah, he opened that wall, so that's mean that second yeah. jump is connecting where is the town hall. That wooden wall it was is. awesome. The flame flinger is a little bit behind. So we have the scatter shot, but the phoenix doing Ooh. some damage. That queen ability is forced there as the flame fling is about to open up. The town hall has been secured. And now it's going to come down to the royal champion and the electro titan yeti that did now just come out of that log or that flame flinger. But the warden is now trying to keep these healers. Send the RC to the right side maybe so the healers can transfer to her. Because the healers are going to run all the way across to the yetis at this point. Wait, okay, so he's sneaking the RC in towards the wizard tower and the ground expo there. Yeah, but when I, ch like, we have still King alive, you know, RC is yeah. not strong against the enemy heroes. There is still Tesla farm, as it just feels like there is way too much uh, defenses. It would be perfect yeah. if that Titan can step in from the RC, but it's not going to happen because the RC is mm -hmm. just aiming for these uh, defenses. And I think so, Yoyo will fall short here and it will be like really good towards Zen, but it's not going to be 3 star. Nice try to Yo-Yo there. The double jumps, it's a huge investment. That just means you don't have all those extra spells until you use freezes or uh, more rages or even a healer necessarily or invis. Nice try to Yo-Yo. Going to drop one last wizard. Only going to be the 83%. But Susie, you can see the final score is on the tribe gaming side 12 to 11. GG, congratulations to tribe winning this show match for the Suzy Cup here. Well done. Oh, definitely well done. Big, big shout out to yeah. teams. Like, thank you very much to Clash Chance yeah. and Try Gaming for uh, doing the show match for Suzy Cup. It was so yeah. much fun. Like, they were using a lot of Hogs attack, but also when we they were watching Lalo or uh, all the strategy, the plans were yep. so unique, you know, so different how they were yeah. uh, against this uh, basis. And I uh, thank you very yeah. much to you, Carbon Finn, for uh, joining you. me. It was definitely Absolutely. a lot of fun. And very yes. big shout out sponsor for Suzy Cup. B and UDG Sal Karina, thank you very much for all help. How I say the Suzy Cup will be yeah. starting from the first of May. Definitely guys uh, join us. Many many stream uh, streamers will be covering the tournament, included Carmen yeah. as well. 
it will be yes. uh, awesome. Absolutely, and thank you for having me. It was a pleasure to be dual casting this. It's always great to dual cast with you, Susie, and it was an amazing show match. And cannot wait for the rest of the Susie Cup. And it's it's been a pleasure. It really has been. Thank you so much.